Welcome! My name is Teacher Rona. Today, I want you to look around and observe the different objects in your room. We have different characteristics to identify these objects with. The first one is color. It makes things different or similar to each other. What part of the body do you use to tell colors? Yes, you use your eyes to tell the colors of things. I will show you some examples of objects. Can you tell what the color of each object is? The apple is color red. What is the color of the pencil? Yellow. And how about this bag? Yes, it is blue. Aside from the color, objects are also known by their texture. What do we mean by texture? Texture helps you feel the objects around you. Objects can be smooth or rough. What part of the body do you use to feel an object? We use our skin to feel objects. Examples are cotton. Cotton is smooth and soft. And another example is stone. The stone is rough and hard. Now, can you identify the texture of the object that will appear in the screen? Tomatoes are smooth. How about this pineapple? It is rough. And this tire texture is? It is rough. What is the texture of these balloons? Smooth. And another characteristic of an object is odor. What do we mean by odor? Odor helps you identify objects by how they smell. Objects can have strong odor or others have no odor at all. Objects with no odor are described as odorless. What part of the body do you use to smell objects? Right, we use our nose to smell. An example of an object with odor is perfume. Perfume has a strong odor, and an example of an odorless object is water. Now, could you please identify these objects if they have odor or are odorless? Soap has odor. It smells well like fragrance soap. Oranges have odor. Oranges smell citrusy and sour. And stones are odorless. They don't smell like anything. In our lesson, you learn how to describe the things around you using color, odor, and texture. Now, let us summarize our lesson. Color. It makes things look different or similar to each other. Texture. Helps you feel the objects around you. Objects can be smooth or rough. Odor. Helps you identify objects by how they smell. Objects can have strong odor or others have no odor at all. Objects with no odor are described as odorless. Thank you for joining me. This has been Teacher Rona for ClickGen.